All right, Dabba J back again. Dabba J prospecting, that is. Okay, so today we're gonna go to Calico Ghost Town, try something new. Um, I think we're gonna ride the train uh, through the mines. We're gonna do a little gold panning, fake gold panning, but it's still fun. I don't know. I've never done it before, but it sounds fun. And it's something different. We haven't, no, I haven't done it in a while. And I'm glad to take you guys along with me. Remember, please like and subscribe. I need subscribers, please, please, please. <laughs> okay, see you guys later. All right, that's pretty cool. Look at that mountain right there. Uh, wait, wait, wait. It says Calico on it. This actually used to be a real uh, gold mining camp, which is pretty cool. Actually, I think they got mostly uh, silver out of here and some a little bit of gold, but that's, that's still pretty cool. Adventure begins. See you guys later. All right, this kind of sucks. Just like every other attraction in California, there's a line and you got to pay a bunch of money to get in. So expect to pay money when you go here, if you go here, just to get in. All right, check that out, guys. It's the um, cemetery, Calico Cemetery. It's an actual real cemetery with dead bodies in there. I went there before. Um, the gate was locked, but I kind of hopped over it. And there's, um, it's like from the 1800s, early 1900s. People in there, a lot of kids, sadly. All right, now here we are. We're gonna pay to get in. All right, see you guys later. Oh, thank you. All right, guys, so that's the um, price to get in. Not too bad. And here we go. I asked the ranger if I could film. She said it was okay. Seatbelt, please. And this is the way in, this little map thing they gave us. And that's a truck that just cut in front of me. <laughs> I guess you can camp here. Campgrounds that way, cemetery that way, parking for the ghost town this way. Crazy fact, um, Knott's Berry Farm, the um, Walter Knott, he uh, purchased this at one time and sold it back to the county of San Bernardino, but he took some of the houses and some of the um, old wagons and stuff and actually put them in Knott's Berry Farm. So if you go to Knott's Berry Farm, you'll see some of the stuff that came out of Calico, Coast Town. Wow, look at all these tailings. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go sample some of that. I wonder if they let you sample some of this stuff. I should have brought my metal detector. I did bring my gold pan though, just in case. Building U.S. Marshal's Office. That's Tiny Marshal's Office. I wonder if that's original or if that's uh, fake or recent. All right, here's the entrance, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, while we're here, and the reason why I'm wearing this stupid thing is because the governor decided we needed to wear masks again in public. But we're here. And see you guys later. Trevor's Toys and Games. Put your mask on. Gotta be safe and responsible here. Look at this. Yeah, no drones. No drones. Mm -hmm. What is this stuff here? That's a nice building. Oh. This is not open. Odessa Reds, Calico Ghost Town, Parlor Crafts, and Curiosities. All right, nice flowers, fake flowers. 
Ooh, look at this thing. That's a nice wagon there. That's pretty cool. Watch your step. It's a park office. Man, these mountains just make me want to go dry washing or something. Let's see what's over here. Yeah, it was a silver mining camp. Hey, this is Baby Dapper Jasmine. What is this store called? Leatherworks. Bathrooms back there. Restaurant here. What is that? Water carrying thing? All right, I'm gonna go explore a little bit. Okay. Oh, sorry. Hi, Jasmine. Hi. You know what this is for? What? To tie your horse up. But well, we don't have horses, do we? No. We will soon. Woodworks. Huh? Woodworks. Yeah, it's about 100 degrees out here. No joke. Ooh. Mine tours. <coughs> Look at this. Lava rock. They do off road tours. Mine tours. All right. Woodworks. Handcrafted here in Calico. Oh, if you show your ID, you get 10 percent Oh, military discount. Yay. Thank you. Gotta wait for these people to finish exploring. Then we'll continue. Let's take your time. Look at those mountains. All right, let's go check it out. Oh, look at Rancher Bob. Hey, Rancher Bob. He's a sheriff, actually. Yeah. Yeah, his hand on his gun. I can't breathe. Okay. On this site in 1881, silver happened. Silver happened here. That's how it used to look when it was an actual town. Pretty cool. Okay. That's pretty cool. Excuse me. Three dollars. Sold out. Oh, I want to get one of these coins. They sold out. Pretty good. How are you? You guys sell actual silver here or no? No, I don't. I mean, it is. If they do, I believe it's going to be in the rock shop. Oh, okay. Thank you. Where are you guys from? Uh, Hesperia. Day gift. All right, see you guys later. Oh, Gentleman Jack. Okay. All right, here's the Calico House restaurant. I wonder if it's an actual restaurant. Room for rent. 
Hey, you guys looking for a place to stay? There you go. Fire hall. Look at this thing. Oh, that's awesome. It's a, it's an old fire truck. That is pretty cool. You guys can pause and read that if you want. I'm not gonna read it. Okay. Town hall. Ooh, what's this? This looks interesting. Okay, give me a second. Visitor party. What is this? Okay. Interesting. Calico Ghost Town population. Eighteen eighty-seven was the highest population here. Oh, the temperature. Let's see. Almost 110 degrees. Wow. It doesn't feel that hot because it's dry. And this is the general store. Let's go. Snake. Um, let me see. You learn about, learn about, and watch me rattle for a dollar. Uh, I think I just go in the desert and find one for free. Oh, there's candy. And some more cool stuff. We're actually not allowed to film in here, so if I get cut off, sorry about that. Ooh, look at his knives, belt buckles. You're looking at stuff? Me too. US mail. Best stuff ever. You guys gotta try it. Applewood smoke style bacon. I'm buying it. Eight dollars worth it. Okay, now I'm curious. I gotta do it. Let's see what this is all about. Hey. This beautifully colored snake is considered a generalist reptile, which means that it isn't too picky about its habitat. The western diamondback rattler can be found living in deserts, grassy plains, forests, rocky hillsides, and areas along the coast. It can live in elevations from below sea level up to 6,500 feet. You can find the western diamondback rattlesnake throughout the southwestern United States. That's Arizona, California, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and all over Texas, as well as the northern half of Mexico. Take a look at the western diamondback rattlesnake's beautiful markings. That's a fake, though. That's a fake, fake, fake snake. Yeah. Well, he's got a rattler. Yeah, now that's one angry this is western oh. diamondback <laughs> rattlesnake. The diamondback will often spend yeah, the hot daytime the hours coiled in the well, shade I see of many in the wild shrubs. I'll just go out there and dead or see one. Or rocks. They'll also yeah. borrow the underground burrows of other animals. In the winter, they'll hibernate in a cave or a small opening in the dirt. Yeah, the western yeah. diamondback rattlesnake can live to be 15 to 20 years old and grow to a length of 7 feet. Seven feet. Wow. When we seen that uh, Silverwood Lake was like half the size. All right. It wasn't even this size. Okay. Lane House and Museum. Original site of Lucy Lane's home. 1885 through 1967. Restored. 
1979 in her honor. I don't know who Lucy Lane is, but I'll research it. Oh, we came in this like a mill, stagecoach shop, the way it used to be. Alright, let's continue. Look at these wheels, they're made out of wood. Wooden wheels. That's crazy. What do you think? Crazy, huh? Silverload, Pico Silverload. I don't know what this is. Here's another uh, little stagecoach. That's pretty cool. Imagine riding on a horse with this thing. Stagecoach shop. Maybe 110 degrees, but it's nice out here. The train track. I think we might get on that train if it's running. It's open. Broken bridge? Yes. Okay. What are these things? That looks like an ore bin. This is some kind of what? Dry washer? Or a rock crusher? I have no idea what this is. What's this here? It's an old well. That is dry. Okay. Saloon. Calgo print. Oh, this is cool. Little mine car. Posters printed here. Calico print. All right. So most of these shops seem to sell the same things. Oh, baseball. I used to play baseball in college for one year. Interesting fact. Yeah, these just show the same things. Oh, this is pretty cool. Look at this. I don't know why I have a thing for maps. Where's the gold? Where's the gold? All right. Look at this old mailbox. Pretty cool. Slide your letters right on there. Oh, no mail. No mail. Caution, baby rattlers. Oh. How cute. Trevor's Toys and Games was caught stealing, so they put him in jail. It was for clickbait. R&D Rock and Fossil Shop. Let's check this place out. Now yeah, here's the entrance to the rock shop. Where's your mom at? Look at these rocks. Oh, pyrite. Quartz. Oh, we found a lot of this desert rose. Found some blue agate too. Oh, Geo, it's cracking open one. Oh, I want to get one. Yeah, buying one. I'm going to crack this open and show you guys this in. This one's already open. Come on, camera, focus. Focus. All right, here's another one. Yeah, this one. Oh, quartz. Yeah, I'm gonna take this one. Some more back here. Oh, 
these are even better. Daddy, can I get one of these? Oh, I have to crack them yourself. See, in Knott's Berry Farm, they have these, but they cut them open for you. And these you have to crack yourself. I don't know about that one. Yeah, you gotta ask your mom. Mommy, can I get a rock? Eagle's claws. She said, yeah. I think this one's pretty. Look at that. It's kind of freaky holding the eagle's claw. Ooh, bear claws. Look at that. That's like a, that's like a knife. That's crazy. Interesting. Look at that gold. Look at that gold. That's probably. That's like. Worth a dollar. It looks like a lot, but it's not a lot. Look at this stuff. Dad, these two rocks I picked. Dad, these two rocks. Oh, I want them. What color are they? Pink and blue. Oh, what's my favorite color? Blue. Oh, you're so smart. These, these railroad uh, things. Pretty cool. Oh, I want that one there. That's cool. All right. All right, you guys, check this out. Meteorites. That is freaking awesome. I think I found one before in the desert, but I threw it away. Let's see, three gram meteorite is how much? 10 bucks. Oh man, I really want one. That's my rock collection. And what are these? Meteorite impact glass. So that's pretty much like worthless. Meteorites, yeah, I want one. They're three grams each. Meteorites from Argentina. It's pretty cool. Oh, look at these knives and guns and stuff. All right, y'all, it's pretty hot. So this is what I use for a fan. Yeah, I'm rich. <laughs> That's pretty cool. A lot of people try to use these at stores. Works pretty good. All right, here's the good stuff. Now look at these. 40 bucks. That's pretty cool. Made in Brazil. Okay. Ooh, a pyrite tree. thing. What that cost? Twelve hundred dollars. Whoa. Oh horseshoes. This craftsmanship is pretty cool. I wish I could make things like that. Oh what's that? Hey you caught one of those late yesterday. Yeah. Okay, excuse me. No way. Shark teeth. Shark teeth. Oh wow, that's kind of sharp. Mm. That's kind of gross actually. All right. Oh, this one's just $2,000. <laughs> Only 2000 that's pretty cool. This is amethyst. Let's see. Balls, stars, balls. Daddy balls. Blue topaz. I don't know. <laughs> and citrine. Turquoise. Oh. Gold and silver. I wonder how much is actually in here. Hmm. 
I'm gonna do an experiment. I'm gonna buy one and weigh it, see how much is in there. Five bucks. Cool little, little thing. Some other stuff they have here. Yeah, but I recommend I really recommend you guys visit this place. Pretty cool. Alright, see you later. Is that copper? Yeah. Oh, nice. How much does it cost? The smaller one? Yeah. 60 bucks? Right, we're gonna see some silver nuggets. Oh, I didn't know this was here. Are these arrowheads authentic? Are they like real? Yes, a lot of Oh. Nice. Okay. Apache tears. Hmm. All right. All right, beer garden. Let's check this out. Lil's beer garden, ice cold beer. I don't drink beer, but, oh, exit only. <laughs> Bowl of chili for $4. Add to nachos or hot dog for a dollar more. Good deal. Oh, here's the good stuff. Let's check out this view over here. Oh, there it is. I heard about this place. It's a uh, house made of glass bottles. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go. Pizza. Whoa, whoa. Let's take a little break. That doesn't look too old timey. Someone left their clothes over there. And it's locked. Or maybe not. No spitting, no drunkenness, no loose women. Checking stuff out. Alright. <sighs> smells good in here. That's berry form. Another ore cart. Nothing in there. Maggie mine. I guess that's where the actual mine was. Railroad, bottle house, and outhouses. Let's check out this stuff first.
Look at this stuff. So that's prices for the uh, attractions there. Gold panning. Hey, it's only 350. Hey, I want to try that. Continuing on, here's the blacksmiths blacksmith shop. Blacksmithy stuff. All right. Look at this one. And look at this huge wheel. It's about six, seven feet tall. Well, we're coming to the end of Ghost Town. Pottery shop, mystery shack. Oh, I'll check that out. What's down here? A uh, bunch of uh, walkways. Oh, it looks like a restaurant up there. I see people eating. So a little church back there. Gotta go. All right, and there's the prices. It's not too bad, actually. Okay, so here's that uh, bacon I told you guys about. It's like sweet, salty, and a little bit spicy. It has pepper or something. That's pretty good. I give it a six and a half out of ten. And look, guys. Yeah, she got some rocks. Yep. Turquoise and quartz. See you later. All right, here's some old timey stuff. Oh, look. Calico Chupacabra. I'll get out of the way here. Some railroad spikes. It's us. We're going on a tour. All right, here's the famous man eating chicken. Man eating chicken. Yum, yum. <laughs> well, unfortunately, the. Um, the uh, train and the gold painting are closed today, so all we got to do is a tour. We, there's two tours available, but we only can do one because uh, we have to leave by 4 o'clock. And that kind of sucks. main reason I wanted to come here was to gold pan, to get some pre-planted gold, but oh well. It happens. Still had fun. It's a nice place to visit. And I'm going to continue filming on this tour, see if they let me film. If I don't, I'll do it secretly, like I did in the stores. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. All right, we're about to start this soon. <laughs> yeah, it's a good time. Yeah, I won't be out for just a minute. Want to get all my business done, if you know what I mean. Yep, he's pooping. Just about read this whole series of Wellbuck catalog, what was already in here. But you're next your on the line, up. so I'll be out it's in a just a few minutes. Okay? <laughs> all right, I think he's done. Downhill, I'll be there on Monday morning. Boss, well, that sounds like a fair deal, because water goes downhill and not up, so I'm expecting to see you on a Monday. Oh, he just says, hold on, hold on there, boss. You gotta check this out. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Just like that, Harry did not go back to work. <laughs> so we're gonna step into his house right in here. Just uh, watch your step, because he steps far quicker. Well, I just noticed this here. Looks like this is mine. They like dug these pockets out. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go up there and take some pictures in 110 degree heat just for you guys. You're welcome. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> you can't get up here or what? Yes. Okay, so. That's good, I got a high bench. You guys know it's a lot harder to go up a hill than down a hill. So, everyone, just to get rid of that whole problem in general, I make a ramp that is easy to go up and down. So, if you guys like to try to ramp out, tell me what is easier to go up or down, you guys want to go up. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Me too. Y
Gravity's playing tricks on me. Never mind, here, hold your hand. It's easy. That's pretty cool. Harry wasn't working in the mine. He needed a way to make some money. So he would bet his friends that he could put these cool, these cool balls right into that pocket right there. All of his friends would always take him up on it. They would always get tricked. So he would just drop his balls down. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> that like that, Harry would make his money. So that is Harry Dover right there in the left picture. That is his wife, Eileen. Eileen Dover right there to the right. We also had a son named Ben, ben Dover and a dog named Roll Roll Dover. Uh, if you guys <laughs> like to step into Eileen. So right here, this is the where the most ghost I think there is in Calico. So sometimes they like to let the ball roll, sometimes they don't. We're gonna see if Eileen's wanting to play. Oh, looks like she wants to play today. That's crazy. <laughs> so we play catch with ghosts all day long. Just like that, we can play catch all day. Oh, wow. That's creepy, huh? <laughs> oh, wow. What the heck? Where is the water coming from? That's crazy. All right, so if you guys can see, let me see if I can zoom in. You see that black hole in the rock there? That's a mine shaft. They said they pulled $180 million worth of gold out of there in the 1800s. Imagine what that's worth today. That's crazy. It makes you want to climb up there and see what they have. Whoa. Whoa. It's coming right up to us. Hey, don't pet it, Jasmine. How was it? It's next to me. I wish we had some food for it. <laughs> Little rat. <laughs> All right, check this out. This is a hearse. Look how decorative and fancy this thing is. Dang. And this is actually, this is real. People actually got carried. Well, people that passed actually got carried in this to their final resting spot. Pretty crazy. These views though. Actually it looks miserable because it's 110 degrees, but it still looks cool. Okay, so here's my lunch. Polish sausage with onions, mayonnaise, um, mustard, and ketchup. I'll let you know how it tastes. Oh, and a sarsaparilla out of the fountain. Kind of tastes like root beer. Never had it before. It's like root beer, but with the uh, citrusy tang. Oh, and here's uh, Baby Dapper Jasmine's rocks. Pretty cool. She got a root beer float. How was it? <laughs> yeah, thumbs up. All right. It's all gone. I give it about a 6 out of 10. That was pretty good, but it wasn't hot. It was a little bit cold, but it's still good. 6 out of 10. Alright, well, that was our trip to Calico Ghost Town. We're going to head home now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, and share. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. See you later. Okay, well, guess what? The tire popped again. I put this thing on. Ah, beautiful car. Messed up tire. It's not right. It's not right at all. Okay, see you guys later. Alright, so we were going to go check out the cemetery. It's right over there, but unfortunately we don't have time. So, we're going home. We're actually stopping at a tire shop so I can get a new tire that I just replaced. I think it's the rim, I'm probably going to change the rim. Anyways, I'm not going to bore you guys with this. I'll see you guys later. Oh man, this is messed up. Alright guys, well there's an accident right here. Um, heading southbound on the 15 freeway. Got the highway patrol, ambulance. It looks like... This car, this truck here rolled over. I really, really hope nobody got injured or injured too badly. They're turning all the traffic around. 
hope nobody dies. I really hope nobody dies. All right. All right. I'm at America's Tire now. Baby Dapper Jazz. Get my tire changed. Um, getting both my back tires changed because they're both bad. And now I can do more burnouts. <laughs> and more donuts. <laughs> yeah, but they're missing and those are tires. we went to go from the um, app, but when we leave, we actually had some pizza first. Oh, we did, huh? Yeah. I had a hot dog. I had pizza. Yeah, you did. But they're mismatched tires, so next week, pretty soon, I'm gonna have to get them changed. So they're the same. Alright, see you guys later.